Hello everybody, welcome to a, uh, um, well, um, I don't know how else to explain this, but a comparison between the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Now, this is all from IGN. This is not made up from the top of my head. I will, I will give you guys a link in the description. It will be in the description. You guys will check it out yourself. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, one of the most highly anticipated new consoles that are coming out this this holiday season. Um, we're going to first talk about how great the PlayStation 4 will be and how not so great the Xbox One will be. Because I'm a PlayStation fanboy myself, and of course, I will be like... That would be like, oh, well, just get a PlayStation 4. But you guys might not want to hear that. So, I'm just going to tell you guys what's good and what's not. And, as you can see, I, I can't really see the screen. So, i got to look off of this. <laughs> so, let's get started, shall we? Uh, PlayStation 4. Comes out this holiday season. It only says holiday 2013 on the website. Nobody, nobody really knows what the release date for the PlayStation 4 will be. Will it come out on Thanksgiving Day? Will it come out on Christmas Day? No, no, they wouldn't do that. They would probably, um, it, will, it, it should come out like sometime in November, like right before Thanksgiving, or something like that. It's going to come out way before the holiday season. Way before Black Friday. <sighs> holiday 2013. Xbox One, on the other hand, comes out, it says, November 2013. So we do know, in fact, that the Xbox One is coming out in November 2013. As if anybody, if anybody saw the E3 conference, they did say November. Um... And we also learned at the E3, uh, at the E3 conference, the prices of the two consoles: Xbox One, four ninety nine, ninety nine. That's four hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents, basically, in layman's terms, about five fifty plus. Well, that's the tax. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding though. So it's. It's about five hundred dollars, and my laptop is not plugged in for some weird reason. Okay. Um, anyways, PlayStation Four, on the other hand, hundred dollars cheaper. So I'm not sure if they did that because it's it's PlayStation Four, and it's like, oh, PlayStation Four is better because it's cheaper. We ne we we don't really know until we've played it. We've played it. And I do know some of my real life friends who will be getting a Xbox One, and I know for a fact that I'll be getting a PlayStation 4 in the near future, not this holiday season, of course. Um, so, 400 PlayStation 4, 500 Xbox One. I don't know why they they don't just say like 500 dollars for the Xbox One, because that's basically what it is. Plus, then you have tax. And then you got three ninety nine ninety nine plus tax. So why not just include the tax part? My recommendation, though, for if you want to get um, one of these consoles is um, Best Buy, Target, or GameStop. I would try to avoid Walmart, but if if um, GameStop, Best Buy, or if your local GameStop, Best Buy, and Walmart already ran out for the next month, then go ahead, try Walmart. I don't really recommend Walmart for video games because they're usually more expensive. So we got the price. <sighs> The optical drive, if anybody knows what the hell that is, um, 
they're both the, both of them will be able to play Blu-ray and DVD. So for the first time ever, Xbox will be able to play Blu-ray Blu-ray um, movies and DVDs. That kind of includes the games, and that's probably why it won't be um, both of them won't be backwards compatible. Um, this is this is where um, it gets um, a bit tricky. Game DVR. It's like game recording. Um, if you want to record for the PlayStation 4, it's a 15-minute automatic background recording, which is free. Xbox One, on the other hand, it's a 5-minute recording limit. Which you probably have to start manually. Manually. Sorry, I cannot talk today. <sighs> plus, I did have my coffee. <laughs> so, plus that requires an Xbox Live Gold membership. So, which one would you go for? The one that does a 15 minute automatic background recording which is free or something you have to pay for um, the RAM both of them will have 8 gigs which is good and some numbers that I don't really understand like PlayStation 4 8 gig GDDR5 and then Xbox One 8 gig DDR3 what's the difference I don't really know um, Both of them will have the same processor, a single chip X82 AMD Jaguar processor with 8 cores. This is the fun. This is the fun part. This made me laugh the first time I read it. PlayStation 4 storage, 500 gigabytes HDD, which is replaceable. Xbox One, on the other hand, 500 gigabytes gigabyte hard drive not replaceable. External store storage. Um, I'm assuming PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will have uh, USBs. It does say yes for Xbox One, but it says to be announced for PlayStation 4. And because we've seen PlayStation 2 with um, USB, and then um, PlayStation 3 with USB, we should see PlayStation 4 with a USB thing because we got we got to charge our controller somehow. So um, cloud storage, both of them will be yes. Play as you download, both of them again yes. Account access from multiple consoles, again yes. Uh, mandatory game installs to be announced for PlayStation 4 which I'm hoping will be yes and um, it's a definite yes for Xbox One. Re required internet connection. To set up to set up your console for PlayStation 4, no. You don't need internet connection to set up your PlayStation 4. But you do need internet connection to set up your Xbox One. And that's because you got to have an, uh, this stupid account thing. You don't need an account to play a single-player game. Although, you do need an account to play multiplayer. And that's what I like about PlayStation. Um, digital game sharing or gifting? Not yet, but I'm hoping for in the near future. Backwards compatibility. For the PlayStation 4... Yes, through the cloud services. Only through the cloud services, which made me really happy. Because now I can play my PlayStation 3 games that I bought and that I put into my PlayStation 3 that will get, changed, that will get transferred to the uh, PlayStation 4. That is what I like about it. 
but you can't do that with the Xbox One. It says none, which I'm hoping for you Xbox fans, I'm hoping that they'll change that for the same thing because it's not available for the Xbox One. It doesn't say through cloud services. It says none. You could check the website yourself. Cross-game chat, both of them, again, yes. Motion control, you got the DualShock 4, the, the, the next controller for the PlayStation 4. Um, you got the PlayStation 4i, which is not included, and the PlayStation Move, which is also not included. And then for Xbox One, you got the Kinect 2. Um, but what it means with motion control this with your controller, you know, the um, six axis. I really, 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 really want that for the Xbox. Uh, I don't know why Microsoft thinks it's a bad idea not to include it, but uh, although I'm not a huge Xbox fan, it would be very useful for um, a six axis controller for the Xbox. It is very useful. Um, second screen for PlayStation 4, PlayStation app, and the PlayStation Vita remote play thing. And for Xbox, you got the Smart Glass app. So that's good. Both of them have apps. PlayStation 4, you can also use your PlayStation Vita. Voice commands. Um, Xbox, of course, and PlayStation 4 is to be announced. Subscription service. Xbox Live Gold, $60 a year. Uh, PlayStation Plus, $50 a year. No word on if it's free or not. Or, well, if there's gonna, if the, um, the free PlayStation Network is going to transfer from PlayStation 3 to, to PlayStation 4. We have not heard anything as of yet. So don't worry. I'm a free person. I, I need the free PlayStation Network. Apps, of course. Uh, TV integration. Whatever the hell that means. Um, apparently there's not going to be one for the PlayStation 4, but for the Xbox you will be able to connect a select set-top box via HDMI. So, um, the USB, and we did see, um, I did say earlier that the USB for PlayStation 4 will be announced, but when looking at the USB, both of them will be USB 3.0. So that's why I was like assuming that there will be USBs for the PlayStation 4. You got to assume shit like that. Live streaming. Both of them will be able to live stream. Xbox will be via Twitch. Um, PlayStation 4 will be via Ustream. Ustream is very useful. In fact, I have a Ustream which I've been trying to go live off of for the past summer. Uh, account system. The PSN ID will carry over from PlayStation 3. You can use your real name idea, uh, idea via Facebook. Uh, for Xbox One, gamer text will carry over from Xbox 360. Um, I'm going to go back to PSN ID. I'm not sure if you'll be forced to change for, to your real life name or if you get a choice. I'm pretty sure you get a choice. Internet connection. Both of them will have a gigabit Ethernet. Uh, I E E E 102.11 um, Wi-Fi, what, whatever you want. Both of them is a little bit different because Xbox is like A slash B slash G. I, I I don't even know what the hell that is. All I understand is that you'll be able to connect with your Wi-Fi. Bluetooth, yes for PlayStation 4, no for Xbox One. Um, AV hookups, both of them will be able to um, plug in HDMI uh, and uh, anything else. And region locked, no for both.
So there you go. We got the co the comparison for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The only thing I got to do now is bash the Xbox One. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. But the thing is about the Xbox One is that um, they didn't really explain enough during their E3 conference and their um, other conference many months ago on what the Xbox One will be able to do. Plus, they revealed it too early a couple months ago. They should have revealed it the same time the PlayStation 4 did during E3. So, we got that done. And, of course, I will be getting a PlayStation 3 sometime soon in the near future. I will not be getting an Xbox One because of Microsoft's failed attempts to explain it a lot better. So, now that we've got that out of the way, I would like to uh, say thank you all for watching. Please give a like and subscribe and your comment below. If you'd like for me to review anything else, just post in the comments below on what you would like for me to review, and I will possibly review it for you. Once again, I will be a, um, recording Minecraft in the near future as soon as I get premium from a local subscriber. Thank you very much once again for getting me Minecraft. Um, if you want to help out, I don't think if, if you can. But um, actually, I forgot what what her channel is. But I'm not going to check now. But anyways, um, thank you all for watching. You'll see future videos of me. I am so glad I'm back. Bye.